Now it's time for a little art news. Art news with Mariah. I grabbed this from Artnet, and I knew you guys needed to hear it because we're talking about NFTs. I've also linked the article in the bio. Cryptocurrency billionaire Justin Sun just bought more than $100 million worth of art this year that he's going to display in the metaverse. Do you hear what I'm saying? He bought $100 million worth of art this year that he's going to display in the metaverse. He says, in quote, as our aim is to build the finest and most diverse contemporary art collection, we are interested in a variety of artworks and categories such as video, music, installation, and AI art, which we don't have yet. Sun said, most of the artworks we own are static and we are eager to diversify our collection to enrich our museum in the metaverse. Art for everyone to see and participate in this very interesting conversation to spark creativity. Now, Arnett wrote, Many of these works purchased through Sun's Ape NFT Foundation are being digitally assimilated to go on view at the Ape NFT Virtual Museum on Crypto Voxels in the Metaverse, a virtual world powered by Ethereum blockchain. Those with the appropriate technology, Oculus Quest, Oculus Rift, and HTC Vive will be able to explore them up close. It's crazy news. It's exactly what I'm talking about. These collectors and these museums and these galleries and these institutions using the technology that is being birthed, that is being born right now to allow you to not only look at videos on your screen, your computer, your phone screen, but to actually step into their space, into their world and feel like you're there using this technology, using whatever you have to step into this metaverse and actually be there and explore it face forward that is huge and if you think that these museums and these galleries and that this ecosystem are not going to grow with the actual world it's insane because they have to now some say that the traditional art world is extremely opaque buying our world only for the privilege just like blockchain democratizes finance they want to democratize the art market by registering blue chip art as NFTs on the blockchain and, facil and facilitating a creator community. There are so many people pouring into the NFT community. We're going to try our best to keep up. Now, guys, that's huge news. Do what you want with it. <laughs> but it's huge. And guys, thanks for coming for our very first short news segment where I will continue to give you guys short bits and pieces of what I think you should know what's going on in the art world. Let me know in the comments if you're into it. Until next time, I'm out.